Our normal high temperature this time of year here in the middle of April is about 61. We were just shy of that yesterday, 59. It looks like we're going to hit right on the money for normal today. 61 at the airport. We may not get any warmer than that. But then look at this warm up for tomorrow and the weekend. Tomorrow's high in Denver, 78 degrees, 79 on Saturday, 81 on Sunday. As I mentioned earlier this hour, that's going to be the warmest weather we've had since October for many of us, even September of last year for some of us by the last time we were quite this warm. And you can see the records on there as well. We're not forecasting any records at this time, although we'll be close on Sunday. Records 83 from 1963. Record high for tomorrow from last year is 85. You may remember we had some really warm weather right around the same time last year. We're doing it again. A uh, pair of 60s at the airport in downtown. That almost never happens. <laughs> Downtown's almost always warmer. Uh, the wind coming out of the east at 10 miles per hour. A little bit of a light breeze for some of us. It is windy. I-70, once you get above Floyd Hill, it is windy going around the curve there and heading over toward Georgetown. U.S. 40 up over Bertha Pass and toward Winter Park where they're going to wrap things up for the season next weekend. It's a little breezy as well. Satellite here not showing much at all across our region. All of the active weather is in the eastern half of the country. You really have to be east of the Missouri River. And, boys, there are a lot of active weather out that way, a lot of shower activity, all because of an area of low pressure uh, there in the Ohio River Valley. For us, high pressure in control of our region. And that high is going to move right over the four corners as we go into the weekend. And that is why we're going to warm up so much, especially once the high gets east of us. Once it moves into Kansas, things are really going to warm up. And that's why I think we're going to have the first 80 degree heat of the season for many of us this weekend. With that high pressure system in place, a storm system on the West Coast can't quite move into our region until that high moves out of the way. So it's going to be a big deal for California going into the weekend. They're going to get more rain and snow out that way. But that same storm system is is what's going to send heat up from the deserts of Arizona and New Mexico into our region, which is why it's going to be so warm and so dry and why fire danger is a concern for the weekend. First, let's get through Friday, shall we? Beautiful day coming up tomorrow. A little cool in the morning, getting into that time of the year where you need the jacket early and then you certainly don't need it later. Highs will be in the 70s tomorrow, close to 80 in town, definitely some 80s in southern Colorado, Highway 50 southward, and we'll melt snow in the mountains tomorrow with 50s and 60s. And then Saturday turns even warmer. 80 degrees, not out of the question, but if we don't quite make it, we'll be close upper 70s. And with all this warm weather, it's no wonder that the ski areas in Colorado, more and more of them will be closing down. We've got four of them shutting down on Sunday, Beaver Creek, Echo, Silverton, and Snowmass. And then a week from Sunday, the 21st, we'll say goodbye to Aspen Mountain, Eldora, Monarch. They extended their season, so they're going to close on the 21st. Steamboat and Vail Mountain. The lifts will spin for the final time a week from Sunday. So we got that first alert weather day possible, both Saturday and Sunday, due to fire danger, because look how warm it will be. And then Monday, tax day, 69, 30% chance for a shower, maybe a rumble of thunder. It's that time of year. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, a few showers are possible. We keep it mild into the middle of next week, and then temperatures just drop off. Of course, in Colorado, never get too used to the weather this time of year because generally it changes fast, and it will change next week. In fact, rain and or snow possible at the end of next week. Michael and Michaelia, right now it looks like more rain than snow for Metro Denver, but we'll keep you posted. Remember, April is our second snowiest month after March.